All right, chicken tenders. <laughs> Welcome to a vlog. <laughs> All right, chicken tenders. Right. Is that what we're gonna call you guys? <laughs> All right, chicken tendies. You know how some people like have names for their like viewers? Like they'll be. Uh, we used to think a long time ago we would call you guys like the track team because like we were the stuff. trackers, but that that sort of panned out. We didn't really. We didn't, didn't really stick. So maybe you guys can be the chicken tenders. All right, chicken tenders. <laughs> we're here. So as you guys know, we went to Raising Cane's. Yes. And it wasn't our favorite. It, so I was talking to a friend of ours who loves Huey Magoo's. And speaking of Huey Magoo's, one opened near us. So we were like very excited to try Huey Magoo's. And she's doing a, a taste test between Huey Magoo's and Cane's. She had never had Cane's. And we were telling her. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. We were telling her that Cane's, the quality of chicken is very good. The quality is there. But the flavor, there's no flavor. This is, it's like a Cane's knockoff almost. Look at this. Oh, oh but they have wraps. Oh, but look at the other side though. It's like you get garlic bread, tenders, oh, cut see, curly or uh, crinkle cut fries, but you also get coleslaw. Oh, you can get buffalo. Oh my goodness. Ooh, gracious. look at these. You can get buffalo, lemon pepper, garlic parmesan, or sweet heat. Ooh, Ooh I think I'm gonna get buffalo. Should I get buffalo? Get buffalo. But this is, um, I almost thought it was like a Zaxby's knock knockoff. Mm. But so our friend is doing a taste test between Cane's and Magoo's, Huey Magoo's. She said she loves Huey Magoo's. She loves their sauce. She loves the, the flavor. She loves everything. So uh, we're behind her in line, actually. She's in front of us, but <laughs> I'm very excited to try it. So their menu is a bit bigger than Cane's menu. Cane's like has five things. Hand breaded grilled sauced. I like that. Magoo sauce. Oh, spicy magoos. What's up, spicy magoos? <laughs> is that better than, than chicken tenders? But then look at the other side. This is all the tenders right here. Salads, tenders for the fam. Ooh. Ooh. You can just get one tender. Just I'm going to buy one tender. Wow. Why? What's this 60 calories, 100 calories under one tender? I think Hand breaded or on, grilled. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to get this three piece. Meal right here. Okay, so what was it that they said at, at Cane's? They're like, one, two, who's ready for to eat a shoe? What is it? They like rhymed, right? <laughs> I don't remember what they said. Like chicken, chicken, chicken dinner. Something right, like something, that. Yeah, they had like a thing that said, here, they said, have a tender day. Yeah, he goes, have a tender day. And I love that. That makes me feel. You feel good, feel right? Feel nice. Feels good about that. Rather than yelling at me like, chicken, chicken, what you having? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. that's what it was. It was, it was, what, isn't that what they said? Chicken, yeah. chicken, what you picking? Yeah. That's, that's what, what it was. was. Yeah. yeah. It was. Okay. And by the way, they stopped doing that. Oh, did they? Yeah. Last time we went, they're just like, what are you going to get? Oh yeah. And I was <laughs> like, oh, right. okay. Well, there you so go. I got the buffalo wrap, which I'm excited about. You got the tenders and the cookie. Going to see how their cookie double, is. Double chocolate cookie. I did order. Oh, I meant to get the magoo sauce. Did you get the magoo yeah, sauce? I got the magoo sauce. Okay. Shoot. I wanted to order that for my fries. Mm. Do you think they can give us another one at the window? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. We'll check. Okay. Well, I got, I got a dollar and give a dollar. So funny because we have an assistant like a, an electronic assistant in I was car. like what? we don't have an actual assistant but it's like we uh, have we have a you, you know her name X A we have her in the car and I'm always like have these questions and I'm like she should be able to answer this so we're like why is it called Hugh and Magoo's I'm like Alexa why is it called Hugh and Magoo's oh no and no, then no, no, says, no 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 Alexa no Alexa no she told me the history of a Huey helicopter and I was like oh well, there you go. This is why I'm not sure if AI is really gonna like take over the world because it's kind of dumb. dumb. <laughs> but we'll see. I guess I guess we have to wait and see on that one. But uh, we got the food. It smells very good. It smells more seasoned already than Canes. And I don't. I'm not trying to like bash Canes because I know people. I know they have their like right or dies. Right, and there are people that have literally said like, if you don't like Canes, I don't like you type thing. And and I think they're serious about that. I don't think they're kidding. I don't think they're saying that as like a jokey joke I think they mean it so um, sorry <laughs> well you know what I have to say to them what what's up chicken tenders <laughs> I hope you're having a tender day all right just looking at this I can tell you it looks like it's only buttered on one side so maybe you have to ask for butter on both sides for that too these look very well done and very seasoned like not very well done but at least more well done like crispier and more seasoned than canes I don't know. I like this. This looks good. 
the fries are nice and crispy looking. Got some sauce. Let's give them a try. All right, let's give this chicken tender a try. They're definitely like smaller than the Cane's chicken tenders. See, I dipped it in the Magoo sauce. That's pretty good. A little kick to it too. A little spicy. Mmm. That's exciting. Yeah, definitely way spicier than Cade's for sure. Mm. I don't know if that's just the sauce or if it's the chicken. Let me try a fry in the in the Magoo sauce. Mmm. Yeah, I think the sauce is what's spicy. These are good. I do have to admit, I know that people are like right out of Canes, but I think that this is better to me. They're crispier, they are smaller, but definitely way more flavorful, in my opinion. You know, not saying that there's anything wrong with Canes. I just prefer this. All right, now we're down to the garlic bread. Let's give it a try. Mmm, pretty chewy. Almost tastes like it's not butter. It almost tastes like, like oil. I don't know. This is like a very typical garlic bread from that you would get from any restaurant. Almost tastes like te Texas toast. Nothing extraordinary about this. Floppy, soggy garlic bread. Ooh, here's the real test. The double chocolate cookie. I'm excited for this one. Let's give it a try. Look at this meltedness. Don't normally like melted chocolate on my cookies, but I'm willing to give it a try today. See, this is the problem. When you have a hot cookie, it folds. That's pretty delicious. Not overly sweet. But still a little bit sweet, nice and like thick, so like coats your throat. Very rich. That's a good chocolate chip cookie, a good double chocolate cookie. All right, here's Jen. She got the buffalo chicken wrap. You just took a bite of it. What did you think? This is already so much better than Cane's. So I'm I sorry. <laughs> How was it? yours? It was good. It was spicy. What did you get? I just got regular chicken tenders. And it was spicy. It's the sauce. The sauce is a little bit spicy. The sauce tastes just like Zaxby's sauce, but spicy. Try it. Try it with a French fry. I, did. I know you already have a like spice in your mouth. No, no, no. I already tried it with. Well, French then the then the chicken was spicy. I know my. Oh, yours. Yeah. I feel like the sauce is a little spicy. Hmm. But also, it's huge. Yeah, it's a big wrap. My chicken tenders were small though. Were they? Well, you yeah. can have some of this if you want it, because I didn't think I thought I was just gonna get this. No, no worries. Yeah, this is good. So, um, truth be told, though, this has been sitting for an hour, and it's still good. Yeah. So I don't think that. Like the Cane's fries would have been good an hour later. These no. have like a, definitely a seasoning on them. And they're like more cooked. All right, so after we ate our Huey Magoo's, somebody else is getting some, uh, what are these? These are chicken meatballs with carrots. And these are macaroni and cheese with cauliflower. So he is making a little bit of a mess, but he loves it. Yeah, that's what I said, yum. Are you having a monster truck show over here, buddy? Oh. Whoa! Look at that. That was a big explosion. That's what this monster truck is meant to do. This is Bone Shaker. Right there. And this is Roger Dodger. There are two Hot Wheels monster trucks. We have more. But... He just did that. He just did that. Yeah, he did. We have almost made it to the point where both boys will play by themselves or together. So the baby's got the dude look right now. Who should daddy or dude look? Dun. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's doing it with his feet. Oh. Also, Jackson's been taking music class recently. And so he learned, what'd you learn about a rhythm, buddy? Jackson. I'm trying to build it more. Oh, he's building his truck right now. Oh yeah, but you learned that a rhythm is just a pattern, right, Jackson? He did. I promise you, that's what he learned. <laughs> we also had dinner. I made dinner really quick. Um, and we had some peanut butter noodles with veggies. Super easy. But because we're going, we're leaving on this trip very soon. And because of that, um, I don't know why I ordered our meal subscription box this week. Because now I have to make two things every day or they're going to go bad. Right. And I don't have anyone to give it to. Because I would just give it away. But... Are you leaning up again? Can you see him? Don't look. He's leaning on you? Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? He's just got his little belly out, too. Look at him. <laughs> he's just going like this. He's like pushing on you. I'm like, what are you doing? I just can't believe it. He is a big boy. Hi, big boy. Also, we will be having a baby race on this on this cruise that we're going on. Yeah. So, like, I think he's going to win. Are you going to win the baby race? I think so. I think that was a yes. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it's got spoilers on it. I'm just kind of sort of taken to letting Oliver just kind of roam around. Like supervised, of course. I'm following him around as he roams around just to see what he does. But it's kind of fun. Like just to see what he's into. He gets into everything. You know, look, he picks up a ball. And then he goes over to the rug and he says, There's more of my toys. Which one should I play with? Just this ball. Right? You burp it on me? Yeah. What? Oh. All right, so it is a little bit later. <laughs> this baby is still cute. I also wanted to mention, he is a little bit like snotty right now because he's got four teeth coming in right now. Yeah. Like all at the same time. And Jackson was kind of the same way. Jackson's teeth, like, I feel like we had a week of him getting all of his teeth at once. So Oliver got his two bottom teeth and then his four top teeth have just come in like all at the same time. Right, buddy? Let's see if he'll take this bite so you can see. I know, he won't let me show you. Can you see in there? Can you look in there? Let me see those teeth. No, no, let me see those teeth. <laughs> can you lean your head back? Can you see him in there? No. What are you doing, Jackson? I'm trying to move there. Are you trying to feed your hamsters? So no, he I'm does. To make it go further. Are you trying to build a new a new area for your hamsters to go mm -hmm. into? So we have this thing called ABC Mouse, which is like a learning game for kids, and you can feed and like you like have these like virtual pets, mm -hmm. and one of them is a hamster. Yeah, they have, have Tamagotchi. You, do you have a Tamagotchi? Oh, no, I was <laughs> like, they have fish, but it's a fun little. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Ball. A ball? Where? Where's the ball? Do you mean book? Is that what you mean, book? Where's the wolf wolf? Where's the wolf wolf? Where's the wolf wolf? Wolf. Hamsters have pouches on the You're looking around for it. Is it in here? Let's see. Where's the wolf wolf? Tell me when you see a wolf wolf. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> what is it, buddy? Wolf. A wolf wolf. <laughs> Did you hear him say wolf? Yeah. There it is. That's my buddy Ryan. Oh. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I was like, what? Is that daddy so funny? That's a funny daddy. Oh no, my battery's dying. What the heck? But so tonight, we've been just doing so much because we're trying to get ready for this trip. And so tomorrow we have an appointment for Jackson to get his hair cut. He hasn't had his hair cut since I cut his hair in the kitchen which turned out pretty good, but I'm like afraid to cut the back of his hair because I don't know if I would, I might mess that up. And I want to get some cute pictures on this cruise, so I don't want his hair to be like weird. Well, I want to have a professional do it. And then I feel like the baby could probably get a haircut soon. So because the baby is getting close to getting haircut time, this will be his first haircut, this will be our chance to go to Main Street Barber. Is that what it's called? Harmony. Harmony Barbershop and get a haircut, first haircut. So I think I need to like book it out now It'll be like in 30 days. Oh yeah. So, but we didn't. We didn't get Jackson's haircut until he was two years old. On his second birthday, we got his haircut. So, and his hair was long. Yeah. Like it was ready. He needed. He a had haircut. like a mullet. <laughs> yeah. Which is in style long, nowadays. All of starting to get a mullet. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a mullet right there. Look at that. It's okay, buddy. Look what at are this you mullet. To do? All right, everybody's getting ready for bed. It's bedtime. It's bedtime. Jackson's in his pajamas. Oliver's in his pajamas. Mommy's in her pajamas. Oh, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. But yeah. I have so much to do. We're not ready for bed. Just the kids. Oh, no. Okay, let me see. His fast running shorts. Go, go, go. Whoa. Fastest ever? Oh, man. I've never seen anybody run that fast. I think he might be the fastest kid in the whole house. Okay, it is much later. Um, the kids are, Tim's putting the kids to bed. I'm cleaning up. I cleaned up all the Duplos, the blocks, the balls, everything. I have to start some laundry because I realized we need to do some laundry before we leave on the cruise. We started packing the kids stuff. We always do the kids stuff first and then we pack our stuff like the day before and the day of. <laughs> just That's just how it ends up happening. So I need to do some of the kids laundry really quick. I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna make some dinner too because like I said, I think earlier in this video, or might have been, I think it was this video, but we have uh, too many meals because I accidentally forgot to cancel the meal subscription box this week. So I'm gonna make some Indian butter chickpea tacos with quinoa and cucumber mango chutney. 
I thought these looked really good. We've never had these before. This is a new recipe for us. I really want to try it. It looks like it's going to be a teeny bit spicy, but Tim said, Tim said that he could handle his spice. So I guess we'll see. It's not like a, I think it's like a mild spice, but so that's what I'm going to make for dinner. I feel like this trip specifically, and I don't know why, but this trip specifically has been so stressful to prepare for. There was just so much going, actually, I do know why it was because of the baby's birthday. There was so much like, like planning and prep that went into that. Thankfully we, we did have like a party planner. So she, they did an amazing job and they really took a lot of the stress off of our plate, but there still was some stress as far as like other, other aspects of the party, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, like some of the food or, you know, other stuff like that, but we still had some stress to deal with. And I think that that took away some of my like editing time and also because the baby's been teething and it's been really tough. Like Jackson's teething, I don't remember it being this tough, but it was so long ago that I like, maybe I'm just not remembering it, but it, it, the baby is having a hard time with like eating has been a little bit tough. We've been doing less like super solid foods and more um, purees and stuff just for the time being to like help him to be able to eat, but not like hurt his gums. I just feel so bad. Like, I don't know. Teething is not fun. <laughs> like I, I hate that they have to go through it. I know it's not ne like necessary. They need their teeth, but I wish that they didn't have to like, I wish all of his teeth didn't come in at once. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it also uh, didn't help his nap time, his nap time. Uh, it really, he would wake up from, I think from his teeth pain. And so we've been doing like teething tablets. We've been doing the non-medicated gel. We've been putting his teethers in the fridge, his pacifiers in the fridge. And that's been helping definitely, but I, you know, nothing is like a hundred percent. So, but that, but hopefully it'll be over soon because his two front teeth are fully through. They're just not like all the way down, but they're like fully through the gums. So that's good. And then he has his two, his incisor, is it in? No, not his incisors. These guys, the ones next to his front teeth, those are coming in and those are not fully, fully all the way through the gum. They're like partially through. So I think once they come all the way through, then it'll be a little bit less painful, hopefully. But yeah, so that's what's happening. <laughs> that's, that's what's been going on. But yeah, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna do some laundry, I'm gonna make some dinner, and then I think we're probably gonna call it a night. Okay, started my laundry, laundry's going. I am now going to make my butter chickpeas. So it's kind of like butter chicken. I'm learning how to make like the butter chicken sauce, which is pretty exciting. I am going to put some like curry oil on one side of each of these. What are they calling these? Well, they're calling, they're just yellow corn tortillas. They feel different. They feel thicker than like a normal yellow corn tortilla. So that's why I thought it was something else, but I'm going to, I'm gonna brush a little bit of my curry oil on one side, but they didn't tell me which side goes up when I'm done. So kind of curious about that. Yeah, okay, so let me do that. I wish I had somewhere to put you guys so you can see what I'm doing, but I can have my hands free. I don't know where to put you. That's why I haven't been filming myself cooking because I need both my hands for a lot of these things. And Tim is always doing something else. He's always like doing something with the kids or like out, not here or whatever. So I'm like, where do I put you? Hmm. I wish I could like just tilt you a little bit, but not have you fall. So you can't quite see. Can you see? If I tilted you anymore, you'd be falling. What do I do? I wish I could just have you like here. How do I get you here? Okay, well, I might not be able to have you. I might just have to kind of show you in, in spurts like what I'm doing. So I'm basically, I'm gonna brush one side of these, cook them in the skillet, and then put them on here to let them just stay warm. And then we'll move on to the next step. I just went to see how Tim was doing. Uh-oh, Jackson, <laughs> Jackson has his eyes open so he looks like a little demon. I hate the way the night vision makes his eyes look when they're open, but look at, this guy's sleeping right here. What the heck? I can't blame him. I always fall asleep in Jackson's bed. His bed is really comfortable. Um, but, ooh, is this done? Oh, it is fragrant. Does that mean it's done? Let me show you. So it did say to pull it out when it was fragrant. Is it fragrant? It is fragrant. I just don't know. What do I do? I've never made this before. This is a hard, I think, I think it's done. I'm gonna say it's done. Okay, all right. Put it on here to warm. Okay, so everybody is fully asleep. That clock is wrong. It's actually 8.59 because of the time change. Uh, I have diced up my cucumbers. I have cooked up my, uh, what are these again? Tortillas. And now I'm gonna make the butter sauce. So I'm gonna leave 
the curry oil that is in here, I'm gonna use the rest of the curry oil. I am going to add the curry powder the chickpeas, the tomato, the coconut milk, and salt and pepper, and I guess that's all you need to make the butter sauce, um, which is like, okay, that seems pretty easy. I could make this more often. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so my chickpeas are cooking. I have mashed like half of them. Honestly, this smells pretty legit. I feel like I'm doing pretty good with the, uh, the butter chicken sauce, but it's not chicken, it's chickpeas. My tortillas are warming. I'm making my, my like cucumber mango chutney relish, I guess. So I've added diced cucumber, mango chutney, a little salt, a little lime juice, and then I need to cut my Fresno chili into into little rings and put that in there. It's also gonna go, let me just show you what this actually looks like, because I don't know if I showed you. It's gonna look like this. Oh, and I did already have, so it did come with quinoa, but I had quinoa, so I'm just gonna use my quinoa, because because I can save this, but this will go bad while we're gone. Tim's back. I'm he's back, gonna baby. Help me, he's gonna help me plate, because I can't do the plating on my own. I need help. So, oh no, I hope I have enough quinoa. I told them I'm using quinoa that we had because I didn't want to make, this will go bad when we're gone. So I was gonna save the stuff that I can make later. Cause it's dry. What? Like quinoa before you make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can like save it, you know, it's like a dry good. It's like rice. Yeah. Or as it I is. like to call it, millet. Is this millet? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> But like, I'm pretty confident that this is millet. It's like a, a party in the front and a, no. Well, no, this is the stuff that you put in your bird cage and let your bird like well, nibble Well, oh my at. gosh, that's what Jackson earlier, what, when he was down here, what was I making? I was making, oh, it was when I was making earlier, you guys didn't see this, but I had to make two meals today. And so earlier I made, uh, it's called a farmer's bowl and it had tahini in it, but it didn't come with the tahini. So I had to make my own tahini and it's just, um, you like toast up some sesame seeds, which we had from when I was having trouble lactating. And I guess sesame is like a, a helpful thing to take if you are trying to lactate. So our neighbors brought over like this concoction of, uh, long story short, I had a whole bunch of, t of sesame seeds. So he, I poured it in the, in the pan because I was toasting the seeds and he goes, are you making bird food? <laughs> And I said, no, but it does look like bird food, right? He goes, what, what is that? Is that a, a seed? And I was like, I don't really know what it is. Is actually. it not sesame seeds? Oh yeah, it is a seed. Oh. It's in the name. Okay. But, but he goes, why are you feeding a bird? And I said, no, this is for mommy and daddy. Uh oh. And he was so confused, but it was cute. So, okay, let me add my, uh, my, this is my, like, this would be like the butter chicken, but it's butter chickpeas. And I really feel like I got the flavor. Like, I think I did it. So, you put a little a little dollop on each one. What What were these? Are these like... What? What, these things in the oh, bowl? Oh, so they're corn tortillas, and then I cooked them in curry oil. Oh, my. Yes. Which, sm honestly, it smelled so good. I was like, ooh, I kind of want to do this, like, all the time. I didn't used to be, like, a fan of curry. I remember the first time we ever went to Sanaa, we went with people who I was, I was like nervous to eat there because I didn't think I was gonna like anything and I didn't. I didn't like anything that we ordered. But then when we went last time, I loved everything. Yeah, I think we just ordered the wrong stuff the first time. No, I think I like your, your, cause I got butter chicken. Oh yeah. And I think your just, your taste changed. And especially after being pregnant, my taste definitely changed. Hmm. So you just, you know, you always gotta try new stuff. You never know, you might love it. Uh, so it sounds scary to me. Yeah, well we're gonna try some spicy stuff tonight because I made it a little spicy. Oh no. So now we're gonna top it with our cucumber mango chutney with Fresno chili and lime juice. Whoa, that was a lot of words. Yeah. <laughs> I think these are gonna be like messy to eat. I was just gonna cut it all up. Okay, I think that's probably the best way to do it. So I think I'm gonna put less of this on yours. Because that part looks the best to me though. I mean, I can put it, I, I can, you just. Oh, that's the spicy? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Mm, just do it normal, I guess. We'll see what happens. Okay. Well, that's what I was saying is I do like spicy. I like the flavor of spicy, but like I just can't, my, 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 my body's like, my mind's telling me yes, <laughs> but my body, my body's telling me heartburn. Oh no. So this is what it looks like. It's also supposed to have a lemon wedge on the side, but the lemon was so hard. I've never felt a harder lemon. I feel like when I cut that lemon open, it's going to be like, 
this thick of skin and like this much like lemon meat. I want to see that. Right? Yeah. Well, I, want to, I want to wait. Okay. I guess maybe we should cut it open because... Yeah, what, are we, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? The world is our palm tree. <laughs> All right, so here is a close-up look. I'm very excited about this. Also, I'm watching the new episode of Summer House. Very excited about this season. I don't know why. I'm more excited about this than Vanderpump. But I guess I do know why. I want to see like the whole Lindsay Carl thing. But yeah, this looks so good. Lindsay Carl. Yeah. So Lindsay and Carl. What happened to Lindsay and Carl? They they got disengaged. I thought that already happened. Well, but this season is like they're they're engaged right now. Oh. Yeah, so it's like you get to see why did they and now I mean I think you found out in the first episode why, but <laughs> or the second like, episode. Just me walking past the room I found out. <laughs> um I'm watching Only Murders in the Building and loving it. Yeah. You should all watch it. It's fantastic. I'm on season two. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I like that I was using my hands a lot. You are. <laughs> okay, try your stuff. Or do you want me to try it first? No, I'll try it. Let's okay. see. I'm going to try this one right here. I'm going to do it with my hands first. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like a taco or I don't really know. How do you eat it? Let me know if we're doing this wrong. Is this a, what's this called? I, I don't, it's just, I don't know. Mmm. Good? Mm. Okay. It's not spicy. It will be. Mmm. <laughs> Tim was also saying that Ray sent him an email. She's our travel agent. I'll link her info down below, but she sent an email about how like the uh, cheaper cruise prices are happening right now, like for next year. And we were thinking about going to Alaska, but we didn't know when to go. So oh, wait. If you, is that the spice? If you guys no. have any, what? So we don't know when to go to Alaska. Juno? <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> Oh, oh no. You guys want to see what I look like when I'm putting Jackson to sleep and I accidentally fall asleep in his bed and then I wake up and I come downstairs? This right here. This is me. <laughs> it's an uncanny resemblance. Yeah. I like doing this. We're doing impressionism up here. I love it because it's always some completely random person. <laughs> uh, okay, so dinner was not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. And dinner was served. That's, <laughs> I think it's because it was like with the, with the quinoa with the chickpeas, but just the, the like cucumber salsa thing, the cucumber chutney thing was, was spicy. Yeah, I noticed that because I ate it with the tortilla mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, this is great. Well, this isn't so bad. And then everything fell out of it too. Mm -hmm. And then to the end, I was just eating it with a fork and I was like, oh, this is bad. <laughs> it's not, not bad, but like, like spicy. spicy. Yeah. So I don't know. I would definitely make that recipe again. I know I didn't really show you exactly what I was doing, but I'm going to link it down below in case you want to see how it was made but it was very good and I would make it again. Ooh, 10 out of 10 would make it again. I really would. So it was you. very tasty. <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We do have to get going to bed because tomorrow is our big, like we got to pack everything. We got to get ready for the cruise day. Yeah. And uh, we just have literally one day to do everything. And Jackson's off school. Yeah. We're going to get his hair cut. I'm going to get a spray tan for the cruise. I'd like to look like, I have a little bit of a tan. Mm. I usually do just like a clear, so you can pick like how tan you want to be. And I'm like, obviously don't want to be like jarring. So I do like a clear is what they call it. And it just gives me like, like I went out into the sun for like a few minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it just, yeah, it's nothing crazy, but I just feel better. You should really like try to add some like embellishments to it. Like wear your sunglasses like this. So you get this tan. Oh, so it looks like a real. Yeah. So it looks like a real tan. <laughs> I'll have a Tim Tracker tan. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your watch on. So you have like a watch tan too. No, because it's like, it's, it's so, because it's a spray, it would just be like such a crisp line. Yeah. Because one time I left my wedding ring on and it was like this crisp line and it looked so fake. So probably won't do that, but that's um, good. Good. Like I get what you, I get where you're going. I mm. like the idea. I like the thought behind it. So when we were in high school, People used to go tanning, and I don't know if this is still a thing anymore. The stickers. But you would put a sticker on? Yeah. Can you do that with a spray tan? Yeah, yeah, they have oh. them. They have them at the place. I would do like a full out paragraph. Like the Marleys were dead to begin with. <laughs> like a tramp stamp? Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> um, but we have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, and I hope you guys had fun hanging out with us. This is like a two day vlog, but I hope you guys had fun hanging out with us over these two days. 
Uh, Magoo's, Huey Magoo's is Ooh. better than Raising Cane's in my opinion. It's just and my opinion. It is. I know that might upset some people, but it's just the truth. Who is Huey Magoo? I don't know. We never answered that. Yeah, we never like found out the backstory like we did with Raising Cane's. Mm. So if you know, let us know. Yeah. Tell yeah. us who Huey is. <laughs> but we will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Stay tuned for that. And yeah. Do, do the and thing. <laughs> I was Sorry, I was thinking about Huey <laughs> and that show. When's that coming back on? What show? The one with the super superheroes. Oh, the boys. The boys. I don't know. I want to see it. Yeah, I do too. So all in all, it was a fantastic few days. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.